this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. Today, I am playing with Amy Lee, uh, Stacy, Squishy, Ballistic Squid, and Afmau, and we are playing on a Goosebumps themed map. And the story of the map is that the invisible boy has come into this house. And this is the uh, the house of R.L. Stein. And if you don't know who that is, uh, he is the uh, the author of all of these Goosebumps books. And so the idea is, is we need to go around this town and we need to track down the, uh, the hidden books uh, because the books are monster compendiums. And uh, we can use them uh, in order to, to suck up all of the, uh, the nasty googlies uh, that have been spread around and released from uh, all of the, uh, the Goosebumps books. So I believe in the, uh, the house, uh, there's some supplies. Oh, looks like these have uh, all been taken already. So <laughs> let me just check in that one up there. Is all this stuff gone? Yeah, so there should be some supplies uh, around the uh, the house. Uh, so what we can do is all go and uh, have a look around and try and find them. And so we're kind of working together, but also not. So we need to work together in order to, to find the books. Uh, but there's only three books and uh, whoever puts them in uh, is going to get some extra bonus points. So uh, yeah, we're kind of together and, uh, and kind of not. And I think uh, I've been a little bit slow trying to to get the uh, the chest, so I've not got anything. Has Squid stole everything? Has he stole things from every chest? Oh, here we go. I got some some diamond armor now. That's gonna help me out. I've only got one arrow bow uh, and uh, and a bow, uh, so that's not gonna be very useful. It'd be good uh, to see if I could find a, a sword somewhere around here. I think uh, all of these chests are are empty as well, and I'm not sure if there's uh, anything else around here. Let me just go and check downstairs. My guess is uh, that most things have been taken already. Nothing. Uh, hidden under the staircase. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you, Squall. Oh, thank you, Squishy. Tell you what, you can have these boots, Squishy. And oh, Squid, no, don't you steal those boots. They're not for you. You've got a diamond sword already. <laughs> and oh, let, let's give the uh, let's give the, the chain leggings to, to Squid. Uh, let's share things out. And oh, look, three cakes. I got three cakes. Uh, I've already got my um uh, my stampy style boots, uh, so I don't really need uh, any of the uh, the other boots. So uh, it looks like this is uh, all of the, the leftover stuff. I'm going to go and put on this, uh, this diamond armor, and I do have a sword. Uh, but it's only a, a wooden sword, so this isn't going to uh, to help me out too much. But uh, I guess if I stick around Squid for now, uh, then that will help me out uh, a little bit. And over here, uh, this is the bookmark. And if we walk over the, the bookmark, uh, this basically sets this area uh, as our spawn. So if I do get taken out... I'm gonna go straight back to the uh, the bookmark right then. So the uh, the only challenge now is oh oh look oh a book a book just fell from the from the skies. And oh oh no oh no spiders came out spiders came out of the book. These are the evil books. So these are the things spawning the the enemies. But if we find the uh, the monster com uh, uh, compendiums, if we throw them down, uh, they are actually go and uh, going to suck up uh, all of the uh, the monsters. So let's go and try and take these out. My my wooden sword isn't helping me out very much. And oh look Amy hasn't got anything. Look Amy uh, come here. Uh, and uh, Jess as well. Uh, I've got, I've got armor. I've got no, no, don't, don't run away. I've got armor for you. I can help you out. Look, uh, Amy, stand still. Stand still. She can't actually hear me, so I'm just kind of shouting for no reason. Let's go and uh, try and throw down some of this, uh, this armor, uh, so it can hopefully protect them. I've still only got my, my one arrow, so that won't uh, help me out very much. Let's see if I can uh, grab their attention. Uh, gooey. Over here, I have armor. I have armor. Do, do you want armor? Uh, Afmel, Amy, does any... Look, look, I got armor for you there. Look, there we go. There. They kind of don't really have much, and I feel a little bit bad because I got all this diamond stuff. <laughs> I know I'm here with all my diamond stuff and throwing down a little bit of a lever, but it's better than nothing, I guess. And oh, another cake. Everyone's just throwing me cakes. <laughs> I guess uh, my reputation uh, precedes me. All right, then. Uh, what I guess we need to do uh, is try and uh, go and try uh, and find some of these books then. So they're inside of chess, and apparently there's a uh, a green mist uh, emitting from the the chest, so I should hopefully uh, be able to to find out uh, which chest it is. But I need to be careful though, uh, because there are going to be googlies uh, all over the the place around here. And oh, what's this? I've discovered something. Uh, Wayfield Foods. Okay, I think I found out a supermarket. There's got to be a book in there. There's also something in the, the back corner over there, and I'm a little bit curious. Uh, I know they say curiosity killed the cat, but hopefully <laughs> I'm going to be lucky. Is it a car? I think there's there's one car left in the, the entire car park. Is there anything in it? Is there anything hidden in the, the car? I don't think there is. I think just one person accidentally left their, their car here overnight. The lucky thing is, is I don't need to, to worry about getting hungry at all, seeing as I seem to have the, the entire town supply of cake on me, which is uh, very handy. Right then, let's go and uh, try and make my way uh, into the, the supermarket. I'm a little bit scared because I've kind of wandered off by myself and don't have uh, anyone else with me. But there we go. It uh, looks like uh, everyone else uh, is catching up. And oh, who's that? Is someone? Is someone? What's this? Oh, no, what's that? 
Oh, oh, I think that's, um, oh, oh, they've gone. Oh, there's just a chicken left now. <laughs> oh, no, it's an evil. Oh, look at the chicken, though. It's not as a, as a friendly a chicken as I thought it was. All right, then. Uh, let's go uh, and head into to Wayfield Foods and see what we can find. Oh, I think someone's already in there. Oh, look, someone's already going for all the, the chess. I was too slow. I was waiting for other people to catch up, but I think other people went in. Oh, look, there's loads of people in here. What was I waiting for? <laughs> right, I guess uh, what we need to do is go and try and track down uh, where the, uh, the, um, the monster comes compendium is then. So as I said, uh, there will be um, uh, hopefully kind of a, a green mist. Oh, one second, let me just uh, eat a cake. Oh no, I can't place cakes. I can't place cakes. I'm in adventure map mode, uh, so I can't actually place down uh, any cakes. So this might make things uh, a little bit difficult. Oh look, I found some uh, of the uh, the Goosebumps books here though. Uh, I wonder if they're going to come in useful. But oh, and I've got a splash potion of night vision uh, as well as a, a skeleton skull. Okay, I think maybe some of these items are going to, to come in useful. And oh, oh, there's some more food here. I guess uh, even though I can't eat cake, I guess I can uh, eat some of this uh, this other food because I am getting a little bit peckish. And uh, let's keep checking it. Oh, I got a ladder as well. Right, I reckon uh, that there's going to be. Oh, hello. Oh no. No, no, no. Oh no, there's a zombie. There's a zombie. There's a zombie. Take out the zombie. No zombie. There's a zombie in all free, everybody. Oh no, there's lots of zombies and werewolves. Zombies and werewolves. Right, my wooden sword just isn't going to, to cut it. It's not going to be very good. Let's go and try and find someone else. Oh look, here's cake in the refrigerator. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> I did get my cake after all. Right, I don't think uh, that my weapons are, are really good enough uh, in order to, to take on too many of these. I can probably take out uh, this one zombie here. And oh, it looks like some other people have found some diamond swords. That uh, would be very useful. Oh, I found uh, another potion of night vision here. And oh, no, no, oh, no, gnomes. There's little gnomes coming after me. Oh, look at them go. <laughs> right, these guys are pretty strong, actually, and they're really fast. I need to climb up somewhere. Is there somewhere I can climb up to escape them? I don't know if I'm going to be able to take them all out with just my wooden sword. Uh, let's just try and run and try and get some, uh, some backup. Uh, what I'm going to do... And I'm going to go and have a look around the, the supermarket and see if there's anywhere high up I need to climb to. I don't know, just the fact that we kept getting all of these ladders uh, just makes me think uh, that we're going to have to climb up very high up somewhere. Let me just go uh, around the uh, the outside and uh, see if there's uh, something on one of the uh, the top shelves. Oh, look! Oh, there! There's the, there's the book! There's the book right there! I can get it! I can grab it! Right, I want to try and grab it and I don't want anyone else to, to see. I want to try and sneak back to the, uh, the house and uh, try and put it down. So, oh no! I I can't place ladders. I can't place ladders down. Right. I think I'm supposed uh, to go into to survival mode uh, so I can place down ladders. Okay, I've switched to, to survival mode. So now I think I need to, to use the, the ladders to, to climb up here. And then I can hopefully grab the, the book. This is the, the green mist I was talking about. There we go. I found the uh, the monster compendium. I have it. <laughs> right, so now I need to try and uh, get the book back to the house. The problem is, is that there's now, as you can see, lots of fire emitting from my head, which means that everyone might try and attack me and try and get the, uh, the book for themselves. So that means I have to try and be very fast. Okay, let's try and get the uh, the monster compendium uh, back to the, the house. So as I mentioned, what are these things as well? Yeah, as I mentioned, uh, there are only three of these. Uh, so yeah, the fact that I was able to, to find one of them uh, is pretty awesome. Everyone was looking around in the uh, the supermarket for ages, uh, but wasn't able to, to track any down. And so also, if there's a, a big group of enemies that come after me, I think if I place it down, it should suck up all of the, the enemies. Let's give this a test. There we go. You see, it just sucks up all of the, the enemies. So I can kind of use this uh, as, a, as a weapon as well uh, to try and get back to the the house so I kind of want a big group of enemies let me try and do it on these ones here if I throw it down here let me see if it goes and gets sucked into the book come on please work come on get sucked into the book <laughs> I don't know if it's going to, to do it. it doesn't do it to all of them uh, but yeah all of the uh, the worst ones are uh, going get sucked into the book but I should probably uh, be quite quick and uh, try and get it back to the the house because I can see uh, people uh, behind me uh, the thing is though I need to remember which house was it uh, which house is RL Steins I think it was this one here there's another evil chicken outside there. There, here we go. This is the uh, the book, Mark. Let's go uh, inside and let's try and put the uh, the book uh, back where it needs to go uh, inside of uh, one of the the item frames. So I need to go around the the corner here. Hopefully, no one tries to attack me on my way in, and uh, we can see if there's any other books. And oh, look, someone else uh, has put a uh, another book in as well. So there's two uh, monster compendiums in place, uh, which means that there is only one more out there, uh, which uh, we need uh, to find uh, and try and bring back. So let's go and uh, try and track down where everyone else has gone to and uh, see if we. We can go and uh, try and get the uh, the final book. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's go to the right then. I've only kind of looked to the the left. I reckon there's got to be something else uh, over in this direction. So let's go uh, for a little bit of a, a wander. I mean, I could try looking in some of the the houses. I just think it's uh, quite unlikely. 
and that it's actually uh, going to be inside one of these houses. So, ooh, is that like a, a fun fair or something? I think there's a fun fair over in that direction. Uh, let's go down this way, though. Uh, there seems to be some sort of building uh, directly uh, ahead of me. Uh, so let's go and uh, have a look down this way and see if we can find anyone else or where any of these uh, other Munster, uh, Munster compendiums are. Is this, a, is this a school? Ah, I think this might be a, a school. So there's a school in there. Then there's also a, a play field here. And look, there's a, a, another bookmark as well here. I uh, said so this way, if I do uh, die, uh, I'm only going to go and uh, appear uh, right back there. So we found a, uh, an American. American football pitch here. There's also a chest right here as well. Let's go and look in here. Uh, there's another splash potion of night vision. Seeing as I've got a bunch of these, I might as well just throw this down. There we go. It almost looks like daytime now, doesn't it? It's just lit the uh, the whole place up uh, so much. Uh, what does this say here then? Uh, Madison High School. Right. Uh, let's go uh, and uh, have a look in here and uh, see if we can find uh, any of the uh, the other monster compendiums. I reckon there's a good chance uh, some of the uh, the other people have head in this direction as well, so we might be able to, to meet some of them. I think there's a board here. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. <laughs> I think that's just written over on the uh, the blackboard again and again. And oh, there's another iron sword here. There's lots of very useful loot. Uh, but yeah, nothing uh, that's really going to, to help me get the, the monster compendium. Once again, my selection of useless items are in, is inside of that one there. I reckon it's going to be in like a big place or somewhere hidden maybe. I don't feel like it's just going to be in one of these little classrooms. I don't know, it just seems too obvious. I think maybe a, a sports hall or I don't know, what else would it be? Like a main hall of the, the school? I think there's more chance of it being there uh, than inside one of these little books. So let's not worry about uh, looking inside all of them. Oh, is this a sports hall? I think this might be. Let's go and uh, check out this place. It's definitely a much bigger room. Here we go. Here's a, a big sports hall, like a, a big basketball pitch. And there's a chest right in the, the middle, but it's empty. Hmm, there's a chance that that might uh, have uh, contained one of the, the books, but someone might have got it already, maybe? It is a little bit of a creepy map, as you might assume, seeing as it is a uh, Goosebumps. It's all, I don't know, everything just does look a little bit weird. These big, tall, scary-looking trees, and it's always quite dark as well. Uh, once again, another chest full of completely useless items. And oh, this house is actually lit up, and the, a lot of the, the other houses aren't lit up. Oh no, this is the house! <laughs> this is the, the house we started in, that's why. Let me just go inside and uh, see if there's uh, any anyone here who wants to, to go around with me and uh, let's just double check uh, just to make sure that all of the the books haven't been filled in oh hello looks like everyone's here oh look they've done it the last book has been put uh, into into place anyway i guess we've been able to to find all of the uh, the monster compendiums i don't know uh, where they uh, they found the uh, the last one and but what i think that means is we can go and celebrate by eating some cake yum 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 <laughs> and i've even left one slice there for someone else if they want some uh, right then ah ah oh, what was that what was that I thought we won. I thought we defeated them. It must have been the invisible boy. He must have teleported us here. This is the carnival. Oh no, when I look from over the wall, it looks so bright and happy and colorful. It's horrible and scary and run down. Right, okay, everyone's here. We're all together. Oh no, the invisible boy must be here. Look, he's spawning in a bunch of these werewolves. And are these chickens friendly? Okay, I think the chickens are friendly, but these werewolves are definitely not. Right, it looks like we have one final battle uh, on our hands uh, to try and defeat all of these, these googlies and send them back into the the books. Right, let's try and take these ones out like that. I still don't have any more arrows on my bow. Look, that's the invisible boy. You can see his book flying around. He's there trying to spawn them all in. Right, let's try and take these out as quick as we can uh, and then uh, we will be able to, to be okay. This place is horrible. Look how scary it all is. Look, there's the uh, there's the um, the um Ferris wheel I saw from over the wall and it looks so bright and happy from there. And oh no, Squashy's in trouble. Squashy's in trouble. I'm coming, Squashy. It's okay. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'll save you from all of the, the evil little gnomes. Let's go and uh, try and take out uh, all of these things i do still have my healing potion on me so if i need to i can use that and oh i don't think squishy has a sword right let me go and throw this uh this sword for squishy because uh, i do have a, a spare one so then that way uh, she'll be able to defend herself it's okay squishy just come and follow me everyone else is over here and it looks like there's a whole load of more googlies uh, spawning in so let's go and uh, try and uh, take uh, all of these out uh, as quickly as we can oh no there's another book there another load of spiders okay squishy i'm coming to save you again <laughs> looks like she's uh, not having the uh, uh, the best fight and oh no zombies as well and we've been split up from the group all right let's try and take these out as fast as we can yay people are coming out to try and help us out this is good all right let's go and try and take out all of these people as fast as we can the invisible boy is going crazy like at first 
And there were just uh, a few googlies uh, around the, the town, but now he's just spawning them in like crazy. And I need to have something to eat as well. I'm too hungry. Uh, my food is not going up. I don't have any cake left, I don't think. Uh, so yeah, this chicken will just uh, have to do. And oh no, look, witches. Witches, he's making witches appear as well. The witches are going to be tough. If we get poison, uh, then that could be really dangerous. I don't have any bows, do I? I got one arrow. I got my bow. I've got one arrow. Let's see if I can at least get one hit. Actually, I don't think I want to because everyone is just charged straight in. Right, let's uh, stop being a, a scaredy cat then, shall we? <laughs> and let's go and uh, try and help these out. I always hate battling witches, though, uh, just because of uh, how evil they are. Uh, let's go and try and take them out and there we go. Oh, it's healing itself. I think it was there uh, trying to, to heal itself. And oh, I thought we were done, but no, nope. there's a whole bunch of gnomes and zombies over in this direction as well. Uh, let's go and uh, try and take all of these out. I am so glad I was able to find all of that diamond armor because otherwise this would have been really, really tough. I mean, it's quite tough anyway, <laughs> but it would have been almost impossible if I still just had that wooden sword and just uh, uh, my stampy style boots. All right, looks like there's uh, another big group of uh, werewolves here and these werewolves are really tough. They take uh, a lot of hits in order to take them out. And all. looks like Amy's having a little bit of trouble over here. Oh, and gnomes as well. Werewolves and gnomes together. And look, there's all werewolves over there coming out of the, the swamp as well. All right, let's just try and hit these uh, as fast as we can. I am literally swinging the sword to my absolute limit. And all slimes. Pink slimes. I think this might be the, the final wave. All right, let's go and uh, try and take out all of these. Uh, these are, of course, all different uh, uh, evil creatures uh, from the, uh, the different Goosebumps books. But this time, they're actually here and they're actually attacking me. <laughs> this is the... Oh, this is the blob monster. I remember the, the blob monster. Right, as long as we take it out uh, so it's only the uh, the small ones, it shouldn't be too dangerous. I am uh, going to have my uh, my healing potion because uh, I was getting a little bit hurt. And there we go. It looks like Amy's uh, coming in uh, to try and help me out uh, taking out these uh, these last few ones. I think she's going to, to like these uh, <laughs> these slimes just because they're uh, they're all pink. Right, let's go and uh, try and take this one uh, out here and uh, take out all of the, uh, the smaller ones as well. I don't think uh, anything else is uh, appearing. I don't think uh, the, uh, the invisible ball as making uh, any more monsters uh, appear. So as long as we take out these ones, or at least make them small enough uh, so they can't attack us, we should be okay. Oh, but oh no, look, over here, there's Squashy and someone else here, and they're being overrun by gnomes in the, the water. All right, let's go and try and charge in and uh, try and help out Squishy. Oh, she doesn't even have any armor yet. Squishy, just run away and I'll help you. Just run away. If I try and throw a healing potion to her, I might be able to, to save her. I don't know if I reached her. I might have just healed the gnomes around her. I don't know how helpful I was, but I tried to help. Let's see if we can throw her some armor. Let's just throw uh, some armor down there and uh, see if she uh, if she sees it and is able to grab it. Oh, I think Amy's just jumped in and uh, grabbed it herself. Is that them all done, though? Is that is that all of the, the googlies? Oh, I got her. I think that's the invisible boy. I think he just hit me. He's flying around here somewhere. Has, is that all of the, the monsters gone though? I think we might have been able to take out all of the uh, the monsters though. Is that them? Is that them all gone? I don't really want to go in there. I'm kind of curious, but it looks too scary. I think we might have done it. I think we've defeated them all. Yay, we've done it. And look, it's raining cakes. <laughs> it's raining cakes from the other uh, skies. So we can celebrate with a, a cake party. We did it. We were able to defeat all of the uh, the invisible boys uh, creatures that he was spawning out from the other uh, books. And yeah, we were able to, to save the town and the day. And I have more cake. Sadly, I just ate an apple, so I'm not hungry enough to, to eat it. <laughs> uh, but I guess I can uh, save it for later if no one else steals it. Uh, so yeah, that is the, the end of this episode. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed this uh, special Goosebumps a uh, themed episode of Iron Crafters. At the end of the uh, the episode, uh, there's going to be a card so you can go and click uh, on any of the, the other people's videos if you want to go and see what they got up to during this adventure and uh, where they went and explored. And also, uh, another video which is going to be all of our views edited together if you want to, to follow the entire story. And look, I'm hungry enough. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> but sadly, that is the end of this episode here. Uh, thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye! Building time, building time, who will win and who will fall, find, find out, out when we burn the wall, it's building time. Hello everybody and welcome back to Building Time, we're back again with another episode, it's where me and Stampy have 15 minutes to build whatever the topic is this week. In the last episode, who won stamps? Well, who was it? Was it me? I'm ready for the big announcement. Can I have a drum roll, okay. please, cow? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
So I'm slapping my cheeks Squid right now. got two hundred and ten thousand votes. Okay. Whoa. Which is that's crazy. That is crazy. And then Stampy Cat got. Two hundred and thirty-six thousand votes. Whoa. Yay! So nearly half a million people voted that is in crazy. the last episode. I can't that believe that is insane. Ha- but be honest, be honest, everyone. Put your hand up. Who voted for both people just to hear what we were going to say on the voting screen? Be honest, because <laughs> I bet that's a, I bet that's <laughs> a lot of people. I did read the comments, and a lot of people said like, I just wanted to see how the other person was doing too. But this means I get to put the, <laughs> the first block down. So if you didn't see the last episode, the wow. way we're counting votes is every time someone wins, uh, they place down a block. Eventually, uh, we're going to reach the uh, the buffer for me, the flying cake at the the top, and then that person will be the the winner. But this is only episode one and it was very close it was a lot of votes but it was very close yeah i'm interested to see how like it goes down this time and see how many there is compared to, to the last episode <laughs> no, no one's gonna bother voting be the same amount <laughs> and then on the episode <laughs> like two squid got six votes and stumpy <laughs> got four <laughs> got eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh man Right, well, let's do the honours. Let's. It's you. It's you now. You have yeah, to flip the lever. My turn to, to pull the the lever. So, um, yeah, we have fifty minutes to build what is ever behind here, and it is Wonderland. Ooh. Wonderland. Wonderland. And that's suggested A by Sam T. Wonderland. Sam T. I guess. Um, Wonder- Won- Wonderland. Wonderland. I guess we like should stop Alice saying it, and build it. Well, I, I, it could be, but it doesn't have to be. It could be what I guess any type of Wonderland. You can interpret that in whatever way you wish, Squid Nugget. Whatever way you wish. Um. Okay. Well, my Wonderland is literally a field full of cows right about now. So. <laughs> right. Let's do pretty building. well so far. <laughs> okay. So we and Squid are going to begin building our Wonderland in a three, a two, a one, and go. Right. The uh, the timer has uh, has begun. And uh, yeah, I need to I need to start building. So what I'm thinking of doing is instead of Alice in Wonderland, I am going to do Stampy in Wonderland. So I'm going to kind of do an Alice in Wonderland theme, uh, but do instead it all Stampy style. Oh, I know what to do! I know what to do! I know what to do! Pick me! Pick me! Pick me! I'm going to do. You know, there's that big house. Okay, that she, um, so if you've seen Alice in Wonderland, which I'm sure you have, because who hasn't, um, or read the books, uh, yeah, there's a bit where Alice, uh, goes inside of a really, um, well, a normal-sized house, and then she eats something, and then she ends up huge, okay, and then, she, like, her legs and arms and that are kind of poking outside of the, the house, so I might do that. Uh, I think I pretty much might only do that, uh, and if I have time, I'll try and add in a, a crazy tea party or something as well. So let's just build a, a big house at the, the back here. I want it roughly about in the, the middle, and I realize that I need room on... Excuse me, pig. I need room on either side as well, uh, just so that I can um, have, like, my arms and legs uh, and that coming out of the, the house. Uh, so let's go back to about here and then across like this, and yeah, then that gives me uh, a nice bit of a uh, room at the, the front, uh, so if I have time, I can go and uh, build some other things, so uh, yeah, let's just go and get to work building a, a house, so I can have my doorway, uh, it can be a double door here, and so I just need to make sure that I have room for like my legs and stuff to, to come out of it, so I guess I can have legs kind of coming out the, the side of it, does this make sense? Or I can have a tail! Actually, if I move it slightly forward, my tail can be coming out of the uh, the back somewhere here. I think that would be quite funny as well. <laughs> right, let's try and get this built as quick as we can, because uh, it would be great to, to add in a, a bunch of uh, other details. So I basically need uh, twists on Alice in Wonderland. So instead of Alice, it's Stampy. So I think the uh, the mad tea party is something that I really want to do. Uh, not only because I really like to, to drink tea, uh, just because I think that would be quite funny. And, um, oh no, there's no rabbits! I wish I could spawn in rabbits. We don't have rabbits on, uh, on Xbox yet. Uh, so uh, I can't spawn in rabbits. I guess I could try and, uh, and build one. And I could build squid in it as well, just because, uh, yeah, I think he would uh, like that. And it's crazy with all of the, the animals all over the, the place as well. So let's just go as fast as I can and build this up. I always say, uh, with, with any quick builds I do, my strategy is not to build big, but to build small and add lots of detail and character and funny things and stuff. Uh, but I'm kind of changing that a bit now. I'm gonna, uh, I'm kind of forcing myself to build something quite big uh, because I'm building uh, this house here but I think hopefully if this ends up good it's going to to pay off quite nicely so uh, let's go here 
and I guess I could have my head kind of bursting out the the roof a little bit could be quite funny and uh, the tail coming out the the back and maybe my arms coming out some windows oh yeah let's add some windows on the either side then I think I'll go about two more blocks up and that should be pretty much tall enough and then I'm gonna have like a big stampy cat uh, kind of poking out of it oh no I could maybe have like um like a trapdoor type thing in the the roof and then that's where you see my face maybe oh yeah so let's go and do the the roof first what should we do for the the roof let's do um let's use hay bales and uh, let's just try and do it as if it's like a, a a thatched roof shall we let's go and do some uh, some hay bales this will uh, make it look a, a little bit different from uh, the kind of normal houses you get so if i kind of just uh, slope this up like this if i kind of keep going like this and just meet at the the point i'm going to try and then do a, a stampy cat face on it uh, at some point as well. I, I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this idea. There's a lot of different things you could do for a Wonderland. Like, it doesn't have to be uh, Alice in Wonderland themed. And I think that's going to be uh, one of the, the most fun parts of building time, is the fact that you know, if it says build a pig, for example, which might seem quite simple, you could build, you know, uh, a pig moon, you could build a pig water skiing, you could build a pig skydiving, you know, you could do literally whatever you want, as I think part of the, the fun of it is going to be to see, like, how different uh, me and uh, Squid's ideas are. Then again, for the, um, the island paradise, we actually built pretty similar things. It's just funny the way we kind of switched roles, and he built an area uh, full of, like, cake and melons and stuff, and I play, uh, built a place with Squid's auntie and ink sacks. We kind of <laughs> just switched around and kind of did the, the opposite of what you might expect us to do. But I realise I am spending a lot of time on this house. I've uh, almost already uh, gone uh, five minutes uh, of my time gone and I haven't really uh, added any of the, the Wonderland type stuff yet. And I haven't even got the house done yet, so I really do uh, need to, to get a, a move on. So here we go. This is my beautiful house, <laughs> if I may say so myself. So I want to try and do uh, a stampy cat face. I guess I'll do it kind of poking out of the, the, the top. So uh, if I kind of come... Uh, let's do a little bit of hay along the, the bottom like this. And I know this is a little bit of a mess, but I don't really have time to uh, to change it around yet. And then if I do it so it's kind of poking out, I think that's the, the only way it's not going to, to look too weird. So if I just kind of do like a, an orange box for now, I can then go and try and add in some some more of the, the detail. <laughs> This is just gonna look ridiculous. And no matter what, I think this is gonna look funny. Right, there we go. This is my stampy face. Let's just go and uh, make it a bit boxier so I can uh, have more room to, to build and all. It's gonna be hard for me to add the, the eyes in. I think I need to go one wider just so I can go and add uh, in uh, enough detail for, for what I need. So uh, let's look at my face then. So I got my uh, green eyes and I got the, the, the black eyelashes as well. So let's see if I can go and kind of add these in. Uh, let's go. Let's just, let's just do uh, the darker green I think so a bit more accurate so if I do uh, that uh, here I think and then this here um Right, this uh, this really hasn't given me uh, nearly enough room to add in my features. I've kind of got a, a grey mouth, which is a bit weird, uh, but that can uh, go down uh, here like this. <laughs> and let's, uh, let's not worry about the black too much. Let's just do uh, the white there and there. I can maybe actually add in the, the black just there like that. There we go. Here is my stampy cat face, and I think I just need to make that a bit bigger. <laughs> That's me poking up the top of the house. Oh no, this this is going bad. I'm already starting to panic now. Okay, let's just do the, the windows at the the front uh, one there and then one on the the other side and then I can have my my arms uh, coming out of uh, of this window actually let's just do them uh, only two blocks wide because otherwise my arms are going to be really big and let's just kind of have just some uh, more kind of thin arms like this and I can have one coming out of here and then I think the other side yet yeah, comes out of uh, just about here and I'm going to bend this one kind of round here a little bit. So these are my uh, arms just poking out of the, the house and I'll give myself uh, some white paws as well. I hope this makes sense. I hope that someone could look at this and immediately know uh, what it is because of course uh, if you're watching Squid's View right now rather than me, well I know you're not because you're here but the people that are watching Squid's View, um, yeah they can't hear my explanation. They're going to hear a short explanation but they're not going to to know what I was thinking the the whole way through so hopefully this is self-explanatory enough so there we go there's my little tail at the the back and I should also go and just uh, fill in uh, all of the the rest of this uh, hay here and all oh, my legs my legs I could have my legs coming out of the the side then maybe uh, they could be just kind of bursting through the the wall here as they've grown too big so these are my uh, legs coming out uh, one of them's here <laughs> like this and then I have one uh, on the the other side uh, just bursting 
busting out uh, of here like this. There we go. This is a stampy cat that's got inside of a house, eaten something that's made him grow big, and now he's bursting out of the, the house. Absolutely beautiful. Hopefully it makes sense. I, I think I need to make the roof bigger. I, I know it's going to take a lot of time. But I think I have to do it, because otherwise it just looks way too weird. I think if I just go one higher on all of it, I think this is going to, to make it look better. And then I'm going to go and start adding in some details, because I have broken my rule and I've built something very big. Uh, but I haven't added uh, too much detail yet. So let's just go, and I, I need to at least make this look okay. I, like, I've spent too much time on this uh, for it to, to just not work. So uh, let me go and carry on building this. I need to have some more swiftness potion, uh, just so I can build quicker. And uh, then I'm going to go and try and build the, uh, the mad team party maybe uh, in front of it maybe Tweedledum and Tweedledee uh, could be a cool thing to add in the Queen of Hearts there's just so much uh, in uh, Alice in Wonderland uh, that you could kind of build uh, I'm kind of a little bit spoilt for for choice to, to be honest so let's go and add that in there and I should go and add in the uh, the doorways as well because otherwise you can see that there's nothing on the the inside I would love uh, to be able to add stuff on the the inside uh, but I'm really not going to, to have time so let's uh, add these doors down uh, these are good because there's no holes in them so you can't see through and see there's nothing there there we go. That doesn't look too bad, I don't think. I think that looks okay. <laughs> All things considered. I should give myself ears, actually. I've not given myself uh, any ears. Let's go and do uh, that like that. There we go. That looks a little bit more like a cat now, doesn't it? There we go. That's looking alright. Right then, uh, let's go and uh, do myself uh, a tea party. I think I'm going to do a, uh, a really big tea party. Let's just go and uh, do a... Um, uh, a really big table uh, the whole way along the the front here so if I do my uh, if I do an upside down stair there and actually let's do it a little bit further in just so I have room uh, to add seats on this side as well and if I do this I can then just do my half slabs just to make a, a proper looking table uh, rather than just a, a big block and uh, yeah I can go and try and add a, a bunch of tea on it and actually you can do tea really well in this game can't you if you use a, a flower pot it actually uh, really does look like a, a cup of tea with tea in it as well so uh, doing a tea party would work really well and I guess uh, a brewing stand could kind of look like a kettle a, a little bit like a kettle <laughs> about the, the best I can do so let's go and uh, add these uh, stairs on this side here as well just like that uh, here is my big table ready for for tea uh, so let's go and get the uh, the flower pots and as you can see they do kind of look like mugs full of tea so let's go and uh, just scatter these uh, all the way around the the table like this uh, one there one there and one there and uh, let's go add some some chairs in then shall we what should we have the the chairs made out of uh, let's do something different than the uh, the spruce wood uh, that I did the other thing let's do uh, let's do quartz should we do quartz chairs um yep I don't have uh, any more time to decide so this will do and uh, of course I'm going to grab some signs as well uh, so I can put them on the the side um uh, just to make them look more like uh, proper chairs. So I need to leave a, a gap of uh, at least two, uh, just so I can fit the the signs in. Uh, I'll do one at the the head of the the table, and then I'll do them uh, along the the other side. Uh, luckily, I don't need to worry about this all being neat and perfect uh, because it's supposed to be a mad tea party. Things can be uh, a little bit all over the place, and plus, I need to build ridiculously fast. <laughs> I don't really uh, have time to worry about these uh, these things anyway. I have less than five minutes left. The time's just disappeared. Like last week, I felt like I had plenty of time. I felt like I was fine. I felt like when the time had gone, I had pretty much finished building everything I wanted to, to build anyway. This week, I feel like I am rushing. I feel like I have had time against me from the very beginning. <laughs> the problem is I hadn't really properly uh, come up with an idea as it started, and so I'm only kind of kind of coming up with ideas as we go, uh, which makes it a lot harder. If you don't have a, a complete plan from the, the beginning, uh, it makes it quite difficult. But this is actually looking okay. Uh, so let's go and uh, add in some people uh, for the TP party I could add villages in couldn't I if I had some fence poles in uh, I could probably uh, add some villages in um, if I can I could maybe add them in between the seats if I did oh no this isn't going to work is it um, well I guess it's, it's, it's a mad tea party uh, we could just have animals uh, instead of instead of people so if I go and uh, just put fence poles around the place oh I can't because of all the stupid signs I place <laughs> but if I can have a, a few of these I could put animals down and then I could uh, use a lead to tie them to it uh, so then that way they shouldn't go and start wandering uh, all over the place so uh, let's go and grab my lead and then let's go and get a, a bunch of spawn eggs so we can have pig, uh, sheep, we can have a... What else can we have? Uh, we can have a... Where's a cow? Cow should be down here. Cow, chicken. And we'll have a squid as well. Why not? <laughs> the squid can just be on the table like that. Right, so if I go and do a, a pig, 
I can then go and uh, tie it down to, to here. And let's just break away a few of these chairs and then I can put fence poles down and that's where we can uh, add in some animals as if it's all a bunch of crazy animals having a, a tea party, which is kind of uh, how it is in the uh, the actual book as well. So let's go and get a, a sheep and put the, the sheep down there. And oh, we could dye the, uh, the sheep a bunch of different colors. And oh, I don't need to, to get a cow since as I have a, a cow here already anyway. <laughs> we can have ourselves a, a chicken uh, which can go here. Uh, and let's go and break away another one of these. And uh, we can go and put some more animals here. Let's just go and uh, throw down a, another pig for now here. And let's go and throw it down there. And I could get some um, I could get some dogs as well. Could be uh, pretty handy. That would work well. Uh, do another sheep here. And I'm going to go and tie it down here. And then, uh, oh, I was going to do a, a brewing stand, wasn't I? Uh, for the, the kettle. Uh, so let's just go and place one of them down uh, on the, the middle of the, the table like that. Well, I just do a few of them as if these are the kettles. Oh, no, the squids died. <laughs> That's no good. All right, let's... Uh, let's do some dogs then. Let's do some dogs. I'm really running out of time here. I need to be fast uh, just to add these uh, these final few details. This might be uh, what makes the uh, the difference uh, between a win or a loss. So doggy, uh, you can go and sit down there. Uh, I can have a, another doggy sitting down here. There we go. That will do. And let's just get uh, as many of these as we can. Uh, we just want animals all over the, the place uh, enjoying their tea party. You can sit down here. Uh, it will take too long, I think, uh, to try and tame an ocelot. Uh, so I think I'm just going to have to, to settle for all of these animals. Uh, let's go and put Put another dog down here. I have just over one minute left. Time uh, is really ticking away. Uh, what I might do then is go and start dyeing some of my sheep. We can have ourselves a pink and a orange sheep, I guess. Uh, you can be pink and uh, you can be orange. And tell you what, on the, the end of the, the table here, I will add a, a villager down. If I just make a, a little pen here for the, the villager uh, with the, the fences, uh, I can go and uh, put the, the villager down here. So if I just kind of go like uh, this and this, and then this can be the, the Mad Hatter at the, the end of the, the table. So let's go and find a, a villager spawn egg. Uh, he can go and uh, sit down there. And there we go. I have my <laughs> I have my nice looking uh, tea party. I can also uh, dye the uh, the collars of the the uh, the dogs different colours as well. Uh, just to make it so they're, they're not all the, the same. Uh, these are just the, the little uh, finishing touches that I always like to, to add in. Just to, uh, just to make it look a little bit different. And you can be blue. And I just leave the, uh, the other one as red. And is there anything else that I can go and add in? To the the house. Oh, oh, there's a villagers just wandered. Oh, look, the villagers escaped. Oh, of course, because there's not fences on the the top. Right, I need to be quick now. I need to be quick. I've only got a few seconds left. I need to go and place this down here, and then I need to go and get another villager spawn egg, and done. Time is up. Time is up. I was just about able to to do it. So let's go and turn up my mic and speak to to Squid. Hello, Squid Nugget. Squid Nugget, can you hear me? Oh, he's not still building, is he? Right, he should be. I got, I got a little glimpse. Hello. Hello. Hello, Squid. Oh, Stas. <laughs> you okay? Stas. No. <laughs> I'm not okay. I'm not okay. Oh, I got a little glimpse. I literally glimpse. had the worst. I've had the worst one ever. Really? <laughs> okay, well, let, oh, let, let's what? see. Well, you know what happens now. What we need to do <laughs> is we need to burn the wall to reveal what oh. each other have uh, have built. So are you ready, Squid, to burn the wall? No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm, I'm too curious okay. now. I'm a curious cat after oh, that. <laughs> this has been such an awful one. Right, okay. Let's have a look. Burn the wall! 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 <laughs> All right. I want to see what you've done, actually. Ooh, have you built oh, a roller coaster? Oh, that looks really cool. Maybe. I was expecting something really bad <laughs> after what you were saying. It started out... Really, really, really bad. Um, and then I managed to save it at the end. Right. Can, like, can, can you walk me, Kate? I'm just too curious. Can you walk me through yours first rather than mine? Well, I want to see uh, this. I mean, at the, <laughs> at the start, I thought it'd be funny to have like kind of like a wonderful environment. And it wasn't meant to be about squid. So I kind of put this happy fellow here where you like walk through his mouth. Um, but then there's the, 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 like the theme turned to squid. So then I kind of like a bit like squid faces along the path with like water coming out and then in here there's like a, a water tank uh, in the in the grand squid's mouth and then that you start the roller coaster here and then if you look above it's actually like it's the tentacles so it goes all the way underneath ah. the squid and then loops around okay, together. can i have a go does it work so I don't know. I haven't tested it. Have you not tested it? There's not. There's, there's not even a button to start it, is there? Do you start here? I, I run out of time. Oh. So go from here. Go from this one. Okay. Okay. Well, I, I go here. I go go along a little bit. Well, here we go. It's working. 
Oh, no, it doesn't work, Squid. It... <laughs> Look at the track here, Squid. I was like, Look literally rushing. It, it literally works, but there's um, there's a few technical faults like here and there. <laughs> oh, dear. But all in all, I'm quite proud of it. It it sort of works. <laughs> right, so mo- moving on to, to my side is... So my idea yeah. was, instead of Alice in Wonderland, it's Stampy in Wonderland. Okay. So, okay, so you know the bit where Alice goes in the house and then she eats something and it turns her huge? That, so that, that's what's okay. happening here. So I've gone inside the house and I've eaten a, a cake and it's turned me massive. So I'm like bulging out of the, the house. And then this is the this, fat cat. And this is the, the crazy tea party. Oh, don't go in there. There's nothing. No, no, it's a bit no, empty. No, nothing in here. No, it's weird. Come on. No, get out, out of it. <laughs> nothing. You're not supposed to look in there. Not for your eyes. And yeah, then this is the, the mad tea party. All the animals see them all drinking tea. Then this is the mad hatter yeah. at the end down here. Um, he's lost his hat, but yeah. that's not that's not the point. Um, <laughs> so you've spent your time building a tea party. And I've spent my time building a squid roller coaster. <laughs> this is good because I, I was saying as I was building, part of the fun is to see like how me and Squid are gonna like take the the topic differently. And I was like, well, last week we pretty much built something very similar, and I'm glad this week we have. These aren't very similar. <laughs> no, oh, I man. mean my video is me literally panicking, like improving all the time and I'm like okay what could oh it's just terrible but it's worked out well I'm glad it's worked out well I'm happy I quite like quite the look of it it's quite interesting so now the only thing left to do is to to do the the voting so um yeah there'll yeah. be a, a thing coming up on your screen now uh, that you can click on it uh, if you want to to vote for Stampy Cat uh, which is what I would personally uh, recommend for you to do if you want my Stampy and Wonderland build or uh, you can vote for for Ballistic Squid Squiddy Wonderland with uh, his working roller well, kind of working roller coaster and plenty of uh, it is of working. There's just a few kinks I need to iron out. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, don't forget uh, to leave suggestions for future builds. Uh, if you just leave uh, as a comment down below, uh, yeah, any ideas for things you want us to, to build in the, the future, you may be picked. And uh, yeah, get a shout out in the, the video just like Sam did. Yay! So yeah, we'll join you next Friday for another episode of Building Time and find out who has won between these two magnificent builds. Obviously going to be me. Yeah, guys! Thanks for watching! We'll see you next Friday! Bye! Bye!